Hey guys, back again with the micro server that you've all heard so much about in the last two um, crazy unboxings of hard drives. You get to see all of my mess of my work going on because this thing's so big, well, so small, but still big enough that I'm not out in the garage because it's like minus 40 and my lights don't work out there right now. And I say minus 40, it's like 22, but still. My fluorescents really don't work out there and, and I didn't really think that through when I was building out my filming area in the garage. So I'm back inside for at least some of the winter. And that means you get to look at, you know, my junk around when I don't really feel like cleaning up because I don't, I don't really feel like cleaning up right now. You want cleaning up of a man cave? Go watch that Barnacules. ProLiant home server software. Uh, I'm not sure if this is 2011 or not. Let me see if I can figure that out real quick. Yeah, it looks like it might be 2011. I actually also have, or it might be HP's own personal software. I also have home server 2011 uh, and the original home server, Windows home server, so I'm not really worried about that. Comes with a power cord and nice to see that it's actually a decent length power cord. It comes with a important BIOS upgrade and key creation. So I will actually read that even though I did make fun of somebody the other day for reading instructions. Uh, sometimes I guess you have to. And now I will massively get in your way as I try to get this, oh wait, no, oh, wait, wait. Thought I was gonna get away with lifting that out of there. Surprise, surprise. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, that's a big bag of do not eat gel. That might be the biggest bag of do not eat gel I've ever seen. So I'm just gonna get her out here off camera, sorry. I know it's super exciting to look at my all my junk around. This is one of the reasons I actually built the filming area out in the garage is that uh, it really sucks to unbox half, halfway bigger things in here. Okay, seriously, biggest pack of silicon gel ever. Like, it's like a rosin bag for a pitcher. So, real quick, I'm going to do a video also about uh, upgrading the drives in this, but I want to get it plugged in and make sure it works and uh, see what software's on it and upgrade the BIOS and stuff like that before I add any drives. But basically, room for a uh, five and a quarter CD-ROM if you want one. Now, everything on this is USB 2.0. So you have four USB 2.0s in the front. Uh, a key, which there's the key on the back that opens the front plate. Your on-off switch. Your hard drive indicator and your networking indicator. Oh, we get it turned around. It's actually a nice little box, you guys. I mean... I'm very surprised. I've heard good reviews about this fan. Um, if I don't really like it, I might replace it. it. has two half height expansion slots, a small form factor power supply, so that's actually the fan I'm the most worried about. But this will be in a entertainment cabinet, kind of. It has an open back but a closed front, so I won't really have to worry about it. We have an eSATA, two more USB 2.0, your Oh, I think it's gigabit, but it might be 10100. I'm pretty sure it's gigabit, however. And your RGB out. Woo! Fancy. So, let's go ahead. Let me get the, the keys out of here, and I'll open up that front bay and show you guys why I decided. Okay. Maybe we'll just try to cut my hand off and do it this way. I bet that would get hits. Not that I'm ever going to, you know, try to cut a hand off to get YouTube followers or, or views, but uh, I bet, you know, some idiot cutting his hand on an unboxing would do pretty well. That some idiot would probably be me. So the front just levers open. If you take this front cover off, which there's a screw right here, you can actually take the door off and we have four expansion bays for, well, four drives. It also has a built-in 500 gig drive, 
which I may at some point replace uh, with a 250 gig SSD, uh, if that's big enough for the OS and stuff. We'll see, but basically my plan here is a mirrored, either I'm gonna do a mirrored um, NAS, two NAS, three terabyte disks, and a mirrored um, Western Digital Green, uh, two terabyte disks. I might just go uh, flush it out completely with uh, with three terabyte uh, red drives. Seems to be, you know, four drives, RAID 5, you have, you know, two disk failure before you lose data, and you'll get nine terabytes of space. So, mostly guys, this is for archiving my raw footage, which of course I'm taking right now, um, along with, you know, the family photos and my music and stuff like that. Uh, just been living on the edge lately and want to start getting some backups going. So, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. I'm going to get this up and running. I'll do a review and the drive upgrade at the same time. But it has stellar reviews on Newegg. Um, it is not obviously the most powerful machine out there. It is just a little dual core 1.5. But it's nice. It's small. Really all you can ask for in a home server. And it actually has a DVD drive, which you know most little NASs don't have. So it has a little bit more functionality than a NAS. And it's cheaper for a four drive NAS. Well, five drives if you count the built-in one. Anyways, this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.